In this video, I'm gonna talk about model sculpt attributes. So you can also think about uh, state management in web application. And uh, there are four scope. One is page scope. In this case, we are most likely we are called GSP page scope, okay? And then we have a request scope. And then we have a session scope. And then we have application scope. And from page to the application, and this is the most glo most global. Okay. So, what is a page scope? Suppose on particular GSP, you're using this thing. C, set, var equals str. Value is x i n g. Okay. Then this var gonna be only available in current GSP page. Request, request scope is associated with a particular request, okay? And if you use a forward, and the request will also be carried on to the forwarded pages. <clears throat> and the session, uh, let me show you, uh, first let me show you inside the, the servlets how to put an attribute in request scope. You're using request.set attribute. And you give a key, and then you give a value. Suppose key is str, okay? Uh, I think as a better name, uh, the better name probably I just uh, using to promote my channel. We are going to channel, channel, and we will call Miss X I N G. Then this channel will be in the request scope. If you redirect to another page, then you cannot retrieve channel, okay? Because it's gonna be another request. Session. <clears throat> because HTTP is stateless, and that means when you make a call, in the same browser, the same user using the same browser make a call, make a, several calls to the your application. Every call to the application will be considered as a new request. The container itself doesn't rec doesn't maintain the state for you, so you have to maintain the state by yourself. And the, the, this, how to maintain the conversational state, we have something called a session. And if you want to put a attribute to be available for this user, okay, before the browser close, you can use in session dot set attribute. <clears throat> Like a channel, Miss X I N G. So this channel gonna be available for consecutive requests coming from the same browser, same user. Okay. Application scope is very easy, which is uh, application wide. When you using a, a, a servlet context to set attribute, this uh, attribute will be available for the entire application, which means every servlet, every controller, okay? And uh, unless you shut down your container, you shut down Tomcat, or you undeploy the application, then this attribute will gone. So how to set in uh, servlets, you're using Request dot get servlet context. Okay, then you using set attribute, and then here you using channel. Uh, 
uh, mostly suppose you have a scenario you want to count how many visitors to your website then you have to use an application and if you do login look at uh, if you want to track the use particular users profile information then using session and if you just uh, um, display like uh, if you have a search page and you want to sh after user type some uh, keyword you show the search result probably you using a re request scope okay and the GSP page scope is not that often used most likely is a temporary variables you want to use and this is in HTTP servlet API So what's going to happen inside the uh, Spring MVC? Uh, here, for JSP scope, no change. OK? And uh, for the request scope, instead of using request.set attribute, you're using model. OK? Model interface dot add attribute. And then you have a key value pair okay like this is a channel this is x i n g okay and then how to make an uh, attribute to be session you have to do two step the first step is uh, in the controller method you using model dot add attribute okay any method in the controller, but it's a request mapping method, okay? Like suppose I call channel and uh, miss x, i, n, g, okay? Second step, in current controller which contain this method, you annotate with uh, session attributes. Annotation. And what's going to be put here? Here you can have multiple, it's an array. This key. This session attributes, this annotation is add or applied, applied on controller class. Okay? And uh, once you are done this one, when you apply session attributes annotation on the controller class and if in any method okay which contains this statement he will say okay you have a channel a channel keyword here and i also have a channel keyword here and they match each other okay they match each other so the spring will move this string value into session scope. If you don't have session attributes, it's going to be in request scope. And if you have session attributes, it's going to be in, uh, uh, if you have session attributes, it's going to be in the session scope. That's how it does, okay? Next one, let's go with, uh, the, let's go with the application. Um, there is no very good solution in Spring MVC to make an attribute in an uh, application scope. The first way you can do is still using a um, Java uh, HTTP server API, which means in the controller class, you using auto wild. You auto wild this servlet context which is the same as this one, okay? Then you're using servlet context. Suppose you have a public class customer controller. Okay. You have this auto wild when spring uh, create instance for this customer controller, it will inject this one. And then in the method, in any method, you can use in the, in the method like a public string get a or something, okay? Then you can use in servlet context dot set, set attribute. 
set attribute, okay? Set attribute. Exactly the same as this one. This is one way. There's another way we haven't uh, talked about uh, one thing is called uh, controller advice annotated class. So let me just give show you the code. And uh, in the future lecture, after I talk about uh, the controller advice annotation, um, we will review, okay, go through again. So this is the way we gonna teach today to handle the application context in Spring MVC. The other way, I'm gonna put it here, okay? Let's make it, put it here. So you can have a class, normal class, called uh, uh, like uh, uh, global, global stuff, okay? And here you annotate this class using controller uh, device okay and then here you have a method string uh, channel name how about that and you return miss x i n g and here you add annotation model attribute if you don't know what that model attribute do, then you take a look at my pre, uh, previous videos, okay? And here I'm gonna put channel. Uh, if you write a code like this, this channel will be available in every in, in the entire application, okay? So just to take a uh, no, we have another way to do that, and we will introduce later. So in this video, I will cover how to uh, manage the attributes using HTTP servlet APIs and also using the Spring and VC APIs. And next video, I'm gonna show you the code, how they work together, okay? And uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.